We have no alternative but to keep moving with determination. We've gone too far now to turn back. And in a real sense, we are moving and we cannot afford to stop because Alabama and because our nation has a date with destiny. I'm here to tell you tonight that the businessmen, the mayor of this city, the police commissioner of this city, and everybody in the white power structure of this city must take a responsibility for everything that Jim Clark does in this community. It's time for us to say to these men that if you don't do something about it, we will have no alternative but to engage in broader and more drastic forms of civil disobedience in order to bring the attention of the nation to this whole issue in Selma, Alabama. There are some things so dear, some things so precious, some things so eternally true that they're worth dying for. And if a man happens to be 36 years old as I happen to be, and some great truth stands before the door of his life, some great opportunity to stand up for that which is right, He's afraid his home will get bombed, or he's afraid that he will lose his job, or he's afraid that he will get shot or beat down by state troopers. He may go on and live until he's 80, but he's just as dead as 36 as he would be at 80, and the cessation of breathing in his life is merely the belated announcement of an earlier death of the spirit. He died. when he refuses to stand up for that which is right. Yes. A man dies when he refuses to stand up for justice. Yes. A man dies when he refuses to take a stand for that which is true. Yes. So we're going to stand up right here amid horses. Yes. We're going to stand up right here in Alabama amid the billy clubs. We're going to stand up right here in Alabama amid police dogs if they have them. We're going to stand up amid tear gas. Yeah. We're going to stand up amid anything that they can muster up, yeah. letting the world know yeah. that we are determined to be free. Yeah.